We know that in historical time, in 2002, there was a major breakout of ice from the Larsen Ice Shelf up in the Antarctic Peninsula. With the breakout of the Larsen Ice Shelf, scientists began asking the question, what, what about these larger ice shelves, like the Ross Ice Shelf and the Filson Irani Ice Shelf? Can they experience similar rapid retreat and breakup? To get at that question, we worked with scientists from the University of Tokyo and worked out on the continental shelf from ships in an area where today there's open water, but thousands of years ago there was actually an ice, the ice sheet advanced out onto the continental shelf. And as it retreated, there was an ice shelf that uh, existed in the area at that time. So using sediment cores and images of the seafloor that we collected, we're able to actually get at the history of the ice sheet and the ice shelf. Our Japanese colleagues actually focus on the timing of the retreat of the ice shelf. What we found was that between approximately 5,000 years ago and 3,500 years ago, approximately 100,000 square miles of ice shelf disappeared from the Ross Sea. That's a phenomenal rate of ice shelf breakup and retreat. So the question one might ask is, well, why are ice shelves important? In the case of these large ice shelves, like the Ross Ice Shelf, the Filsner Ice Shelf, they actually block ice uh, that's flowing off the continent. And so if these ice shelves disappear, uh, this, the rate at which ice flows off the continent speeds up. Ice shelves themselves, when they collapse, they don't add to sea level rise. They don't contribute to sea level rise. But when they go away, then they unleash flow from the continent, and that allows for faster discharge of the ice sheet, and that can lead to sea level rise.